If you recently purchased a Census AMR or AMI solutions, one of the first things that you'll have to do is activate and install your SmartPoint uh, meter radios. Today we'll be going through a demonstration of how to install a 100 GM SmartPoint to a Census R275 meter. The first thing you'll do is pop the existing rock seals out of the index, the existing index on the R275, and you do that with a flathead screwdriver. And kind of dig these out. And that shows the holes where the mounting screws for the index sit. It's essentially just a tamper device uh, showing if a customer or um, end user has been messing with the index. So remove these four screws. And once all those screws are loose, you should be able to pop off the existing index cover. Since this is a new meter, the gasket came off with the uh, index cover, but a lot of times if these meters have been sitting out in the field for a long time, you wanna take a putty knife um, after you get the index out and just simply scrape away the existing gasket material as the smart point has gasket material on the back and doubling up on that uh, can cause uh, water intrusion or um, any type of dust or anything like that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll take the existing index out of the meter with these two small mounting screws. And you don't need to worry about saving any of the hardware uh, that is existing on the meter as far as your screws or rock seals or anything like that. What I do like to do is usually, especially if you're working in the field, put those screws in the index cover and take out the existing index. We are going to use this existing index uh, in the smart point here in just a moment. So take your smart point, uh, remove the plastic index cover, and what we're gonna wanna do is mount the existing index into the smart point. You'll mount that on this well post here, uh, the gray well post, and the black well post uh, coming out of the smart point with the two small screws found in your hardware kit, uh, your 100 GM hardware kit. The other thing you'll want to verify uh, is that the drive dog extender uh, lines up with the drive dog of the index itself. It's this little white cup uh, and the uh, meter index drive dog should slot right into that, uh, into that well. And you don't need to tighten these down uh, very tight at all. Just hand tight is fine. Um, this is a plastic index, so you wanna be careful not to break it. And your index should look something like that uh, mounted into the smart point. You'll take your plastic cover and you'll pop that right over the index. And you should hear that snap whenever it seals in place. There will be a little bit of play at the top until you actually mount the smart point onto the meter itself. Um, everything kind of tightens up and seals this gasket, making it water and dust proof after the installation is complete. So you'll take one of your um, index, or excuse me, one of your smart point mounting screws and put it in the top left hand corner. And go ahead and mount that, or go ahead and tighten that screw down into your first well of the meter. 
and just fairly loose so that you have some play with it like this. You want to install it at a little bit of an angle so that whenever you slot down your smart point or slide down your smart point, you know that those drive dogs are lined up appropriately. Essentially, the gear train that sits at the back of this smart point runs all the way to the index. We'll need to mount to or seat appropriately uh, into the back of the, um, the gearbox here. and add your additional screws and tighten down There we go. And give them one final check just to make sure that gasket is completely sealed. This is an electrical device, so um, you do want to make sure that it's as water and dust proof uh, as it is designed to be. Okay. Last step here is going to be to take these two red rock seals and pop them into the wells of the smart point, the mounting screw wells of the smart point. And you can either use a hex driver or a uh, screwdriver to essentially pop these seals in place. They should be a little bit recessed uh, in the well, and that's how you know that they have seated appropriately. All right, our next step is going to be to activate this smart point out of factory sleep mode. Proper command link placement is important. You're going to want to make sure that the uh, command link is on. And that's indicated by this green power light here. And proper command link placement for the 100 GM smart point as well as the 300 GM smart point, so all of your residential smart points, uh, is with the power button facing towards you and the command link sitting on top of the meter just like this. Connect your phone or other handheld device to the command link. And once you've connected it, go ahead and enter in that FlexNet ID. You can either do this manually or there's a, uh, a sticker on the side here that actually, or that includes a barcode where you can actually scan uh, the barcode itself. I prefer this method. It prevents any data entry errors. And this command link uh, is basically going through a series of prompts here. It's auditing this smart point, uh, determining you know, what state it's in, whether it's factory sleep, whether it's already activated, etc. And we'll just select uh, configure and activate and you'll want to be sure that you select the appropriate uh, product configuration uh, as you're installing this smart point or activating this smart point uh, this index has four dials so you'll want to make sure that your configuration has a four dial selection as well this is also a non compensated or non pressure compensated meter so you'll want to do a standard installation uh, for this at seven inches of water column for more information on how these product configurations are set up, uh, please refer to some of our other videos or contact your distributor. Enter in the meter, the meter reading and the meter ID, which is usually found on a serialized badge. Shouldn't take more than about a minute or so to activate these smart points once you've entered in all of the appropriate data. 
And with an activation success, you have successfully um, installed and configured uh, your very first SmartPoint.